Nation. I'm Greg Alba. <laughs> we saw us. I'm John. I mean, we saw, we how's, saw how's the movie Jordan Peele's how's it going, guys? follow up film. Yeah. Us. I completely got the whole film. Right on the first try. First yeah. shot, mm -hmm. didn't have to look anything up. Easy viewing experience. Yeah, man, he was dead the whole time. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. Stole them right out of uh, John Carpenter's Sixth Sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we saw the movie Us uh, last mm -hmm. night. Packed house, opening night. What an experience. We're gonna go into that in a second. I wanted to uh, did something off the table really quick. We would like to do a spoiler review for this movie. We really would like to do a spoiler talk for it. The thing though is, both John and I feel like we would most certainly need a second viewing. At least. Not because, like, ah, uh, we just want to make sure we get everything, you know, right and clear. Yeah, about all the that. details. It's just, this is one of those films that undoubtedly you would probably get a million things more from it. It's the kind of film that by the time it ends, you would have a completely different viewing experience. It's not you would yeah. just get it more, you would just have a completely different viewing, which is awesome. That's yeah. just an awesome thing. Sorry. I will feel like I've truly seen this movie once I've seen it twice. It, That's, it's yeah. one of those. It's kind of hard to explain in the sense of uh, the uh, like why you need a second viewing for it. Until you see it, then you would go, oh, I get why now. That doesn't minimize the effect of a first viewing experience per se. The thing though is we don't have have time to watch it uh, a second time on the weekend. Not this week. Not this week. We, we, we really <laughs> don't, so maybe we'll do it. We have screening set up for other movies on both Monday and Tuesday to attend. We're at an event all day Saturday. For our own mental health, we've had to make a rule where Sundays we take off and we just really want to stick by that. So what we can do is talk about our um, non-spoiler um, reaction to the movie the first time around. First impressions. Yeah. yeah. I feel like for anyone who watches this movie, if you were to do a review of your first time watching it and a review of your second time watching it, there'd be very different reviews. I feel like that'd be like way for anyone. Uh -huh. And I hope if you haven't seen the movie, this kind of entices you to watch it a little bit more. When I was on the John Campia show, there was a point where he was talking about the Rotten Tomatoes reviews that had come out early. And there was just this vibe and impression I got that it would be one of those films with, where they were like, Jordan Peele, you're free to do whatever you want. And I had an impression that it might be like a critical darling, but it might be very divisive amongst audiences. And then sure enough, by the time the movie was over, I was like, now I'm even more confident in that theory that this will be a divisive amongst audiences. The first person we spoke to upon leave exiting the theater was not part of our group. Was Just not came up to us. So yeah. he, could, he, he could tell we were saw the same movie and was like, what'd you guys think? And then the second we started Started to give our answer, he was like, ah! So this is gonna garner a lot of different responses, and I think yeah. it's gonna be one of those movies that tests your sensibility whether you want a solid answer the second you leave the theater, or whether you like to sit with and think about a movie. Yeah. Or, like, decode. Because as a film in this right now on, on Rotten Tomatoes, the, uh, I'm guessing that this will land in the audience score between 60 to 65%. That's where I'm guessing it'll land. Right now on t Rotten Tomatoes, this is Friday we're filming it, 94% critic score, 72% audience score. It could be different by the time this video is uploaded. Either way, our impression of the film, I really admire this movie. I really respect this movie a hell of a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's certainly ambitious. It's very weird. The trailer doesn't it's mislead you into there. thinking <laughs> that it's not gonna be a weird film. It's a very strange film. I did leave going, I'm excited to see what creative input he has on the Twilight Zone. <laughs> yeah. Because this does have a lot of like vibes sort of like that. Twilight Zone-esque. I feel like the one connective tissue that you can solidly draw between Get Out and this movie is the fact that they have this kind of curious, weird, dready center that does feel kind yeah. of Twilight Zone. It has like, not a, a plot twist specifically, but there's just a twist to the tone yeah. that feels Twilight Zone-y. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll say it's just like, if you're walking in for like a horror suspenseful movie, I think it's a really great one at that. Like, mm -hmm. I think it's just a straightforward horror suspense film. It's wonderful. I think that with Get Out, they're very different movies. Very, it's actually really hard to talk about this movie without spoiling anything. <laughs> While they both have social commentary, I feel like Get Out social commentary was very specifically linked to race. Mm -hmm. And then here, while there's, you know, uh, elements of that here, it's not exactly the main thing for it's sure. About race. No, it's yeah. about a whole bunch of other things. A lot of it's open to interpretation. I did not fully get it by the time the movie was done. No, I did not. Some people have been like, oh, there's this giant exposition dub. They could have left some stuff ambiguous. And I'm like, huh. <laughs> You know, I, I, I don't think on a first viewing you would just, I just don't believe you can fully get 
everything this movie's talking about, everything that's going on in this film. There's so much symbolism. As far as a director's movie, the writing in this is really good, but I think Jordan Peele took it to a whole other level in terms of directing craftsmanship Oh, yeah. uh, working with his DP on the film, working with his uh, music composer on this movie. Mm -hmm. He took it to a whole other degree in this film that blew my mind, yeah. honestly. Yeah. yeah, I think there's something that's very much worth respecting regardless of how you feel about the ultimate like outcome of the movie is the direction because, you know, like people used to always laugh in film school and scoff a little bit when we would go over scenes, be like, what's the meaning of this shot? And, and people would be like, there's not necessarily a meaning to every shot, but at the same time, there are some movies you watch where you're like, the set dressing, the color choices, little mannerisms in the performances, <laughs> just, like it feels very authored and crafted and of Jordan Peele's voice. Yeah. And it carries, again, from, you can see that level of detail and craftsmanship and sense for subtleties and, and symbolism coming out of Get Out into this, but just so much more. There's some reveals that are very easy to understand uh, yeah. by the end of this movie. Like very easy to understand. So I might even call it predictable. For a lot of this, there's probably uh, so much meaning and layers to almost every frame in this movie yeah. that you just don't pick up on the first time. And for a movie that has so much writing on coincidences and like little eerie details, little yeah. things that are off with people, you know, you're not gonna catch everything up front. And also what I noticed is that this movie, the way at least the dialogue is handled and the character stuff is handled, you can catch everything, but not everything is very on the nose so you do gotta pay attention and there are certain things that you might miss. The main big reveals of the movie communicating what to sort of try to understand in terms of its its messages or commentary, the reveals all usually happen in the last third of the movie, like how most movies do. I don't really feel like that's a spoiler. I feel like I've heard some non-spoiler reviews that actually say more things that are more spoiler-filled than what we just said right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, like things that I'm like, you shouldn't have said that in your review, well, you know? The lines of spoilers <laughs> are gonna be a drawing yeah, all over yeah. the place with this movie. <laughs> I loved the first two thirds of this movie so much. Even when you're confused, because that's the point. You're in these character shoes, you're supposed to be confused. It's home invasion with this weird doppelganger twist where the people who are invading your home are people who look exactly like your family, you know? And they're terrorizing you. Shit just gets way crazier, way weirder. Uh, violent stuff starts to unfold some like it's more violent than, than I think get out and it's funnier than get out I love the humor in this movie. I feel like some people might find it a little bit out of place at times for me I liked when it was kind of jarring. I liked when it was uh, unexpected. I thought they uh, handled it in a way that was like, I don't I don't know feels, what I would do in this situation feels, yeah. if I wanted to say something, you know? Like, it feels intentional, even with some music moments that yeah. they do with comedy. I really admired uh, the choices of when to put in the humor. There are some very intense moments uh, throughout the film. So even in the first two thirds before like you start getting answers and start getting like real, real clear explanations on some stuff that's going on and why. As well as really surreal sequences yeah. as well. <laughs> because you're supposed to be at that point going, I'm confused, but there's enough to latch onto and grasp onto the immediacy of the situation mm -hmm. where it's very thrilling, very gripping. And I very think visceral. we're, I think where some people are falling off with this movie is by the time you start getting reveals. I'm noticing a weird reaction to the reveals. Some people are saying, too much of an exposition dump. And then some people are going, I don't fucking get it. <laughs> you know, I'm like, wait a minute, which yeah. one is it? <laughs> I think it comes down to sensibility again. Yeah. Because the exposition dump itself is plot based. It's not based in the symbolism and the deeper meanings of the movie. And the movie leaves you with those things yeah. to decode on your own. I feel like that's where a lot of people are kind of falling off with this movie. You know, I don't fully get it. I'm sure I'll get it more in a second viewing. I'm sure I'll Google some shit to like find out the deeper meanings. And I bet that uh, even Googling and trying to find out what the deeper meanings are in all these articles that people are putting up or, you know, taking what Jordan Peele is saying that he wanted to comment on or talk about here and there. There's definitely things here that are left solely to the viewer's interpretation. Mm -hmm. There's There are elements here that you might not get that you could probably look up and then go, oh, okay, that makes more sense. But then there's other elements that are left open to interpretation and then there are some things though that I feel are clearly left to not be fully explained. There are certain things that even when I was looking up going, wait a minute, but, but why? and how yeah. I don't feel are fully meant to be fully explained in this movie. I feel like that's part of the intent with it. Because sometimes when I look back on some of the reveals and then I look back, to the, I feel like on a second view and I might get it more. But even in retrospect, I'm like, wait a minute, but this 
this kind of doesn't make sense to me. I kind of would have want a little bit explanation here, you know? Yeah, for sure. I mean, and that's a, another thing where I'm going to have a more solid opinion about it once I've seen it again. Because, yeah, I, I walked out with a fair amount of, like, questions. <laughs> Things itching at my mind and not enough of the movie to really solve all those problems in my head. I really appreciate what has happened here. It's going to take me a little while to figure out how I feel about it, you know. There's just so much here of quality, and I think it's one of those movies that- I, I love the movie. Yeah. I, I do, like, you know, I've talked with a few people who are like whatever about it. For me, this is a cool viewing experience. Oh yeah. When I'm like, it's not one of those movies that, you know, sucks the first time that you were watching, it's, it's yeah. good the second time. It's one of those films that is is intended to be rewatched. Some people find that to be a hindrance uh, for a film. I don't. I don't find that to be an issue if, if a movie is meant for a rewatch. It's so nuanced and so detailed. And there's no one thing a movie ought to be. Yeah, yeah, so. exactly. We didn't even talk about the cast in this movie oh, yet. Oh yeah, yeah. But the cast is phenomenal phenomenal in the film. Like, that's what I mean. It's just the first two thirds as just a pure horror suspenseful movie with comedy infused. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. I feel like people drop off in the third a little bit because that's when you're supposed to be like clear cut on everything. But I think in the first two thirds with the directing we've all covered, the music, the cast, you know, Lupita Nyong'o playing two different people in here, phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Man, she better get an Oscar nomination. I don't care I really what other so. performances come out this year, she better get an Oscar nomination. Yeah. Winston Duke in this film, who has a lot of the comedic relief intention. He's not a comedic relief character, I'd say, but a lot of the the relief- he's human? A lot of the relieving moments uh, come through his character, I'd say. And he's not the type of character you might expect him to be. Like, I, I've yeah. heard a lot of different responses to this character. Some people appreciate the way that they don't portray him as this like overly tough, always in control kind of guy. I know some people kind of think he's a bit of a punk. And yeah, I, I liked, what he brought to this a whole lot. I you know, they it. felt yeah. like a real fan. They felt like a real family. Like a real fa the whole family is good. Yeah. And, and no one's really talking about the kids in the movie either. Oh, they're great too, yeah. The, the kids are great, especially the daughter in the movie. Uh, I thought she was uh, Shahadi Wright Joseph. I thought she was incredible in this movie. Like, really good. And the kid, uh, the son, Evan Alex, was also really good. Yes, the star performers in this movie are Lupita Nyong'o and Winston Duke, for sure. Mm -hmm. But the, but even the kids, and then there's other characters in here who we, they're teased in the tra trailer. Yeah, like Elizabeth Moss and Tim yeah. Heidecker. Well, I'm a little bit more questionable about the writing of the way those characters were handled, honestly. They're a bit more caricatures, and we spend way less time with them. Yeah, yeah. but even with the moments you get with them, it's like, yeah, I can't go into it, but I'm a little more, I'm kind of, that's where I'm questionable about the, per se, the writing about it, not not so much the meaning. So yeah, I think it's just a suspenseful horror movie with comedy infused. I think it's great, and the more I think about it, the more I love it, uh, I, I, you know, to compare this to Get Out is not necessary because they're so different. Mm -hmm. The thing is, I don't feel like a lot of people expected this experience. I feel like we did. <laughs> Yeah, I expected to, to leave in this state. Yeah, you know? yeah. Like, yeah I, I did, so I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad that I don't quite understand all of it because it's one of those movies that you see where, and everyone will have a different response to this, but I feel like even the things I don't understand were placed there with intent. There are movies exactly. you see that you walk out not understanding and you're like, I think they just didn't think about this and that's kind of lazy. Yeah, Whereas it's not like a plot hole. Yeah, like, yeah it's yeah. like, it's, uh, there's stuff that might not at first make sense, but... I just, I gotta imagine that there's just more to it than I have seen from this first viewing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and so because of that, and because I just love this kind of movie in general, and I am happy that we're potentially gonna get more of them, I like things that force me to go out and think a little about them and that are challenging and that leave me with a weird feeling afterwards, you know? Yeah, because I think the one comparison I'll make in terms of viewing experience with Get Out versus this is Get Out had a very immediate plot that you can easily understand and then it has its symbolism and meaning you could latch onto when you're watching it and then get more from it than the second time. Whereas with this movie, if you don't get the symbolism and meaning it can kind of take you out of it a little bit in terms of fully grasping how do I really feel about this movie. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean by that? Yeah, yeah. Um, do you guys get what I mean by that? You, you may it's walk like, out like this, feeling like you missed something. It's like we get out, you can kind of just take away the plot. 
yeah. and and take away the situation, and everything, and, and maybe not even digest the meaning and still love it. I Whereas like here, if you don't digest any of the meaning or symbolism, you might be like, "What? I don't get it." Get Out gets out yeah. there throughout a lot of the movie, and I feel like that movie's confusion can be solved by, a, "Oh no, this is what they were doing, and here's how that works," and it's kind of yeah. easy to explain once you understand it. Whereas this movie, I think, is also just trying to do a lot more things and touch on a lot more ideas. So there isn't just one thing to understand about it. Part of the fun too is, you know, a divisive movie. Yeah. There's lots to talk about. And I'm <laughs> really looking forward to what audiences have to say about this. And I can't wait for all the countless YouTube videos that come out with this movie about the meeting and symbolism and the hit, you know, all that oh, stuff. They're already it. popping they're up. They're already <laughs> popping up and we're gonna get, we're just gonna keep getting more of them. So I feel like it's an exciting film to have mm -hmm. right now. I actually wouldn't have wanted anything less. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, I don't think I would have wanted something that was crisp and easy to understand, yeah. you know? All right, guys. Well, did you see us? Did you like us? Comment below. Subscribe to the Reject Nation, click that notification bell, and uh, we'll catch you guys soon.